Just Drinking's back with Whistling Andy's Hibiscus Coconut Rum. Yeah, baby. This sounds like I am now the fittest guy at the bar. I've got hibiscus coconut rum. I mean, how much more healthy does it get, guys? We're drinking rum and we're being healthy. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited. Crazy, 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 crazy. So welcome, guys. If you guys haven't been here before, I'm Robert. I'm Royer. And this is Just Drinking, where we talk about all things rum, new reviews every week, lives every week, and we would love for you guys to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, check out the links down below as we have the Patreon, the Facebook group, all the good stuff with the communities down there, and we would love to invite you to be a part of it. So something looks a little different tonight. A little different, right? a lot different. Right, we've got our first sponsors, right? Boom. Yeah, yeah, Fire and Slice Pizza in Eureka, Montana. Bam. Thanks, I Mike. I hear they have the second best pizza in the world. <laughs> Is that right? Throwing well, shade. <laughs> I doubt that. I but doubt that very much. Because Arguably the best. Arguably. I'll give them that, right? Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So let's talk about some rum. We All got right. a new rum here. We've never we had do. it. Straight out of Montana. Don't know a thing about them. Right? Right. So we're going to find out a little bit right now. So this is a 40% 80 proof, naturally flavored with hibiscus and coconut. This is handcrafted, okay? None yes. of that crap, right? We no. got we got the clean stuff We here. got the clean stuff. It's amazing. So we got a story on the back. Yep. All right. Read us the story, Robert. The spirit's unique flavor and unusual color originate from dried hibiscus flowers and coconut, steeped directly into a rum born of blackstrap molasses and raw sugar cane. As always, Whistling Andy does not use any artificial coloring or flavors. We invite you to meet the perfect spirit. That's awesome. Boom. It's making me thirsty just I'm thinking so about it. I'm so thirsty. Right? So I'm excited to try this one. Obviously, we push craft distillers on the show a ton. You just keep reaching for can, it. Can I crack it open? I can I? Can I? I'll let you All right. It now. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's the sound of a little bit of Montana goodness right here. Montana goodness. It's right? Montana goodness. <laughs> Almost has like a chocolate woody kind of color to it. Well, it's got it. a little bit of a red, red tint to it. A little bit. Man, it has got this very dark, deep color. So it almost has like a, a creamy coconut smell to it. It does. It's got the it. creamy. It's like a creamy coconut. So it's really interesting. We've had some different coconut rums, some from coconut water, some from that coconut flavoring. This is just kind of more of a creamy coconut scent on the top. Um, but you know what else I'm picking up? What are you picking up? I'm picking up a little bit of a wine feel. A wine? A little Ooh. bit of a wine feel to it. You can tell it has like a dried fruity note to it, just yep. kind of a little bit with that cream. And you think it's a wine. And maybe that's that fruity note with it for you. Maybe you're just kind of sensing the wine. All right. I want to try this. Baby. I don't want you to be parched over here. That's right. So I really, really am appreciating the uh, natural essence off of it. So at our household, we do really like a lot of natural stuff. We don't really get a lot of the artificial stuff. Um, you can definitely taste that it has that creamy coconut. Almost goes into um, kind of a raw, like dried berry, like a dried yeah, like blackberry. Yeah, like, like a dried berry. Of, I, I, I don't, don't know, know if it's know a blackberry. The, yeah, but it definitely has that creaminess to it. Yeah. And it's got this, so maybe high, a hint, hint of raisin to it a little bit, just kind of giving it that natural. I don't, berry. I don't pick up the raisin. That's yeah, because you don't like raisins. Oh, you don't ever. There eat you have raisins. it. <laughs> you would never pick it up. It's definitely got a little bit of a raisin but tone to it. I think it's the hibiscus. It must be hibiscus. The hibiscus. <laughs> what are we doing? Biscus, welcome. Hi. Hi. Biscus. Great. I love the separation of the words there. Okay, so the hibiscus really, you know, <laughs> whatever. It's hibiscus. I, I, hibiscus. 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 Say it with some oomph, man. I say hibiscus. The word of the day. Hibiscus. Hi biscuits. Sounds like high biscuits. Okay. Hibiscus. How's that? No. Whatever, man. Hibiscus. You, you do you. I'm just enjoying the show with you today. I'm just tagging along. I'm along for the ride. You do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I believe that the hibiscus. Yes. Is uh, really bringing something to the table here, but I've never Ooh, tasted. What is it bringing? I've never tasted that particular flower. Really. So I'm. It really, I'm, I'm it, not really sure. It really does give like that dry fruity note to it. I think we kind of spoke on that. Uh, the coconut isn't as bold as I anticipated it to be no. with that creamy uh, scent off the top. And I really like that because it does feel more natural. doesn't feel flavored like you get with some of that stuff, no. um, which really makes it go down smooth. And it doesn't have a lot of burn and it goes down really easy. I was going to say, how would you rate the heat on this? The heat on this is minimal. It's yeah, minimal it's, heat. It's uh, very it's low. sweet rum drinker. Very I don't low. think it has very high heat. You no. could sip, shoot, whatever this one, no problems. So I did take a look at Whistling Andy's website. And they have quite an array of cocktails to make with this. Okay. But I didn't see our cocktail on there. And we know what we're going to be doing next 
with this, correct? Yes, I know what we're going to do. So let's let everybody know. So as we do with every rum on this show, we're going to mix it to a Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. Now, we know there are better mixed drinks, or you're just going to drink it on its own. We know. But we do it with every rum. doesn't matter whether it's $5 or $500, because we like to put it on an even playing field of mixability. And this is the most common cocktail that backyard rum drinkers will make. So we just start with that. So even though you might not appreciate it as much as some other people, leave us a comment about some better things we should do. Everybody else does. We'd invite you to. Uh, but we're going to try it right here, right now. We're going to do it. Do it for you. Okay, so what are your what are your first impressions? Ah, so, forget it. I'm gonna tell you okay. mine. Okay. <laughs> <Just snack coming. laughs> so right. my impressions are that it, the flavor really holds in place on this. You don't get the separation like you do with some rums. Um, I think this is gonna be a fantastic mixer. I would say that going with the Diet Coke is probably not going to be the cocktail that I'm going to put this in. I'm actually going to check out their website and uh, follow some of those recipes. I can tell you right now, I like it as a mixer. As a sweet, smooth rum drinker, it's smooth. It already was smooth. It's just delicious. Like Royer said, the flavor doesn't separate. Here's the yep. kicker. Here's what I'm going to say. It has such a nice, dry, uh, kind of fruit, flowery flavor going on here with that coconut hibiscus. This would go awesome with like a tea and lemonade mixture. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. like, a, like making a, a rum version of an Arnold Palmer, getting into something like that. That would be awesome. I think it's absolutely fantastic for those natural drinks like that. I think it would be fantastic. I, yep, I, I can see this being mixed with some pineapple juice. Ooh, uh, some cranberry juice, juice some I orange juice, a little bit of mix with uh, maybe some bitters in there. Yes. You know, to top that off. This with. would make a great so, rum punch. Oh, I know yeah, what I'm doing in your would. backyard tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to work. Yeah. You, yeah. I'll All send right. you pictures. All right. Yeah, great. Thanks. Let's rate this thing. Well, before we do, we got to know how much this bottle of rum costs. And well, let me tell you right okay. now, I don't know because this bottle was sent to us gracio graciously, graciously, by, graciously by Mr. Jeremy Page. Shout out Jeremy, right? Jeremy and his wife, Chris. Yes. Right? So Chris and Jeremy sent thank us you. this bottle with a nice note. Super thankful for this. Uh, this one, I'm going to guesstimate this comes out to a $40, $42 bottle of rum. You nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Actually, it's 39, but. Okay, but that, that is pretty close. <laughs> pretty pretty close. close. Close enough. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, I thought that was a very good price point. And again, you know, it's right in that sweet spot that we found. Yep. You, you spend, you know, like 30 to $40 on great, a rum. Great, And you're place. gonna end up with a really good product. Especially if you're new to rum, you're just trying to develop your palate. The yep. 30 to $40 price point's amazing. And this is why Craft Distillers land here, get unique products that help develop that palate. This is fantastic. This is definitely, so unique. Definitely so gotta unique. try this. Absolutely incredible. I'm yep. actually super impressed right now. Yeah, I so on am this I. rum that I've never heard of before. Whistling never heard, Andy. Whistling Andy. I've heard him whistling, but I've never met him in person. He's always in the wind. <laughs> you're, you're thinking of Andy Griffith. Oh, you might be right. Yeah. It's yeah. I don't think show. I I don't think this is his. Well, I the don't bottle know. wasn't you know, black and white, so I I guess that's true. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andy All right. Griffith shows in yeah, black and that, white. That's true, and the bottle is not. So yeah, see, it doesn't make sense. Go. Doesn't make All any right. sense. So, but if whistling Andy is by chance watching this at any point. Feel free to contact us because we'd love to talk to you about your rum. Yeah, absolutely. This is fantastic. All right. So let's rate this. Let's thing. rate it. The ratings here mean absolutely nothing. We scale on a <laughs> scale of 1 to 10. This is our opinion. We always encourage everyone to try it. But let's see what we really think about okay. it. Okay. Scale of 1 to 10 on its own. What do you think? 7.5. 7.5. Weak sauce, Royer. Weak sauce. Really? I'm, I'm going. I'm going 8.5. I think. You're it's going 8.5. I think it's delicious. It's super sippable. If you're a sweet, smooth rum drinker, you're gonna love it. Throw an ice cube on it. You're gonna absolutely love this thing. I think it's absolutely delicious. Actually, to be clear, I mean five is average. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at two and a half above five. Weak sauce. <laughs> That's all I have okay, to say whatever. about Okay, whatever. I thought it was a pretty good rating. Right, five is an average middle okay. of the C, C, C rum, right? So Yep, all right, all right. Okay, just saying. as a mixer. As a mixed drink. I'm going up to an eight. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten because I know this may not be the cocktail, but I know just by the flavor of this rum, this is going to be... A crazy mixer. This is actually the flavor I try to get in lemonade because it yep. makes like an Arnold Palmery feel with that hibiscus natural flavor. This is easily a 9.5 out of 10. I'm going to go wow. 9.5 out of 10. I think it's amazing flavor. I think it's an incredible rum. It's really smooth. It's really fun to try. Great price point. They nailed it. I think it's a great they did. They craft distillers. They it. do a great job at this, and I think they did a phenomenal job here. Whistling Andy, I give you three whistles out of three. <laughs> Whatever that Made means. Made up that scale. That's yeah, a new whatever scale that just means. for Whistling Andy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that is Whistling Andy's Hibiscus Coconut Rum. Make sure you guys check your local liquor stores. Look them up online. Don't take our word for it. Go try some rum for yourself today. Do it. Do it today. 
If you guys like what we did and you think it's sacrilegious that we put Diet Coke and Diet Pepsi into everything, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button so you can watch us do it more. Hit that <laughs> thumbs up. Make sure that you go down to the links down below. Check out our website with our t-shirts on there. A little bit about us on there. Make sure you check out the Patreon as we got some awesome levels there for you guys to check out. We appreciate the support. We've got a rum ratings link down there to get you hooked up with them. And then obviously the Facebook group where the community hangs out on all hours that we are not live or making videos. So we would love to have you there as well. If you're a big rum drinker, we would love to have you there. If you're just new to rum and not a big rum drinker, we would still love to have you there Come it's on. always fun talking Join to everybody us. just here to have a great time number one rum community in all of youtube mr roy air let's get him home safe now wait wait but pause pause wait you know who else they need to go check out this is our sponsor fire and, and slice fire and slice out of eureka montana make sure you guys look yep. them up if you're traveling through montana go find yourself some into eureka you gotta go to eureka they got, got fire to. and slice that's right you, you know what pizza. else they have there from what I understand, they do a they do a mean poker. I'm poker. They do some poker. Like they they poker. <laughs> no, no, is that kind of poker? Oh, okay, wrong kind of poker. The game, the game, the game poker. Yeah. So that if you're looking sense. for a hot poker game in Eureka, Montana, <sighs> you go to Fire and Slice. That yep, go awesome. to Fire and Slice. Check I'm, them out. I'm terrible. Ask at about poker. it. They would love if I came and hung out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would. All right. With that being said, thank you so much, Royer. Let's get them home safe. Always drink responsibly. Always. Never drink and dry. Don't do it. And no rums or harm during the making of this video right here. Video right here, 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 here. Have a great one, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> I am. I'm in a candy pumped. store. Oh yeah. It's so the well, I, I was looking at the bottle. This is really cool. So it's got uh, bottled by uh, Annika, and this is batch number sixty-three. Is it Annika or Erica? I think it's is Annika. It an R? So it looks like a cursive R. I think it's... I vote Erica. Yeah, it's an A. Yeah, so? <laughs> it's 2022, Royer. Get with the program. You can spell your name however you want. I spell Robert with three Qs. Yeah, yeah, yeah.